This is no longer about cars. Cars are a manifestation, but you know, solar panels are as well. Power walls are as well. And I'm telling you right now, Scott, the big disruption that's coming. Over the past decade, Tesla has shown the world that electric vehicles are the future of clean and sustainable transportation. Despite all the criticism the company faced during its early days, the odds of success were heavily stacked against them. But Tesla pushed through all of it despite being almost at the brink of bankruptcy in early 2013. But the launch of Model S saved the company from pending doom. And with the success that followed, the company is forcing other industry leaders to either switch to electric vehicles or die a slow death. But Tesla isn't just about electric vehicles. Although electric cars are already beginning to disrupt the automotive industry, there is another big disruption looming ahead, and it's not electric vehicles. So stick around and watch till the end as we unpack this story. Hello and welcome to EV Source. My name is Harry and I'm your host for today's dose of EVs and technology. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing so you don't miss stories like this in the future and hit that like button if you think people should learn about what I'm about to share with you. Now, let's get right into it. Tesla is reducing battery costs by 50%, increasing range by over 50% and reducing investment so the cost to build factories by 70%. I mean, if you're a traditional automaker, you must be so scared right now. At, at this point, with Tesla's patents that they have on these new, this new uh, cell structure and architecture, I think that uh, it could be sort of a lifetime advantage that they have over the auto industry. I mean, I think it'll be massively difficult to catch them. Tesla is running away from traditional automakers and is now headed toward not just dominating the electric automotive industry, but perhaps the power utilities as well. There is a big disruption looming ahead that many don't seem to understand yet and it could be bigger than the disruption we are currently experiencing with the automotive industry that has barely just begun. I've talked about this before but I think it's time for an update. An investor and an entrepreneur Chamat Palihapitiya clearly understands this and sees the big picture. I think the reality is that Tesla is a distributed energy business, right? They are figuring out how to harness energy, how to store it, and then how to use it in a way to to allow humans to be productive. Cars are a manifestation, but you know, solar panels are as well, power walls are as well. And I'm telling you right now, Scott, the big disruption that's coming is to power utilities. There are trillions of dollars of bonds, of capex, of value sitting inside the energy generation infrastructure of the world that is gonna go upside down. And when that goes pear-shaped, Tesla will double and triple again. Tesla has been selling energy products alongside vehicles. There's the solar roof that is now starting to pick up speed again, the power wall that has gone through two versions, and then there's the mega pack for utility installations. Lately, Elon Musk has been making bold statements regarding solar power, which can ultimately increase the demand for energy storage products. Elon stated in Tesla's latest earnings call, quote, we're actually seeing tremendous growth in solar quarter over quarter last year. We had our best quarter since, I think, 2018 in Q4. We do actually expect to become the market share leader in solar and then go far beyond that. I think it will not be long before Tesla is by far the market leader in solar. Tesla already was the largest solar installer back in 2016, but due to the Model 3 ramp up, the company lost its lead when it had to divert all available resources into the Model 3. This was a time period when Tesla was only weeks away from bankruptcy again. Well, I mean, Tesla really faced a severe uh, thre threat of death uh, due to the Model 3 production ramp. Essentially, the, the company was bleeding money like crazy and, and just if, if we didn't solve these problems in a very short period of time, uh, we would die. Uh, and it was extremely difficult to solve them. How close to death did you come? We, you know, within single-digit weeks. 22 hours a day? Like what, how many yeah, hours? Just working, yeah, so seven days a week, so sleeping in the factory. Uh, I worked every from the I worked in the I worked in the paint shop, general assembly, body shop. You ever worry about yourself imploding? Like it's just yeah, too yeah. much? Absolutely. No one should put this many hours into work. This is not good. People should not work this hard. I'm not they should not do this. This is too, very painful. 
But Tesla pulled through this one like a champ and started to do better than ever before. And now, almost a decade after Tesla started the business, I think it's safe to say that they have grown strong roots in the automotive business with a worldwide fan base that loves the company and its products the same way people love their Apple iPhones. Now, Tesla is ready to take back its lead in the solar division. Many new developments have taken place in Solar City that make Elon confident of Tesla's future in the industry. And as the solar business grows, so will the energy storage division with the use of Tesla's mega packs. For instance, Texas is already building a 100 megawatt energy storage unit after the severe winter storm that took the state by surprise, leaving about 4 million people without power. The site is located in Angleton, a town of nearly 20,000 people located about 40 miles south of Houston. When complete, the 100 megawatt installation will be able to power approximately 20,000 homes, which would be enough for the entire town of Angleton. The site could begin operating as soon as the start of June this year. Apple will also use Tesla's mega pack batteries at its California solar farm. The site will store up to 240 megawatt hours of energy. For utility companies, these are great for making a significant amount of money with the use of Tesla's software called AutoBeater, which trades energy for profit. These utility scale systems can help stabilize the grid and provide power during power outages. While this current scale is not enough for the entire state of Texas, it is a step toward the right direction in preventing catastrophes like the one we saw in Texas that left people without power heat and water. But this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the pending disruption. Yes, the automotive industry is now beginning to feel the disruption that Tesla set in motion, but just wait until the solar and energy storage divisions start to explode. This is no longer about cars. That That's the first wave of growth, and I think people are pricing in an evisceration of traditional autos and an enormous shift to EVs of which Tesla will get the disproportionate share. So now what is the bet? If you ask me as an investor who loves that company, it was in page four or five of their quarterly earnings release where they talk about the energy business. And they said a couple of interesting things. The first is that it was profitable. And the second is that they're also producing software now that allows effectively anybody to become a distributed utility. Now think of that for a second. You are talking about one of the most predictable, reasonable businesses that have raised hundreds of billions and trillions of dollars of debt. And what Tesla is going to do with their battery packs and their software is all of a sudden allow each of us to be in the energy business as well. Again, people will get angry. They will not understand. They will try to push back and they will be wrong. And what's going to happen is that this stock is now going to represent the totality around decarbonization and sustainability. So it was really great to own this thing around cars for the first four years. I did it. I made a lot of money. But now I underwrite this company as a bet towards decarbonization, towards deregulated energy and towards the ability for all of us to become our little micro utilities. Let's break that down a bit. Let's imagine for a second that you own a Tesla vehicle and your home has Tesla's solar roof along with Tesla Powerwall. The solar roof will charge the Powerwall that can power the house and charge your Tesla during the day and use the grid during the night or when there's a power outage. Now, Tesla has this software called AutoBeater, which automatically buys the cheapest possible energy to charge your car and the Powerwall when the roof isn't generating enough energy. And what Tomat meant with micro utilities is that your car essentially is a small powerhouse on wheels. A Tesla model Model Y, for instance, has a 75 kilowatt hour battery pack. That's the equivalent of five and a half Tesla Powerwalls, if you have the latest Powerwall 2, that comes with 13.5 kilowatt hour capacity. What the AutoMeter software would essentially enable you to do is to sell some of the stored energy back to the grid when the car is plugged in. The same goes for the Powerwall because once the Powerwall batteries are full, your solar roof won't have anywhere to store the energy, so the software could sell the excess energy to the grid. But the more energy you have available to sell, when the grid needs it the most, the more money you would make. And this would all happen on autopilot, which would make this a form of passive income. If you want to learn more about AutoBeater and how it works, watch this video right here. I'll also leave a link in the description. Now let's take a quick look at the largest energy companies in the world. Here's a list of energy companies by market cap. Some of the names might be familiar to you, such as ExxonMobil, Chevron, and Royal Dutch Shell. But if you look at their market cap, they're all in the billions. Altogether, the market cap is in the trillions of dollars. Yes, they're mostly oil and petroleum companies, but since the world is shifting away from fossil fuels to clean, sustainable energy, everything will change. The change is already happening, but it's going to take several years, maybe a couple of decades before the shift is complete. If it wasn't already clear that Tesla will likely lead the disruption in the power utility sector, 
Here are a few facts that you should know. In the last four years between 2017 and 2020, Tesla's energy storage division deployed over 6,000 megawatt hours or 6 gigawatt hours of energy storage with 1,584 megawatt hours in 2020 Q4 alone. But within the same time frame, there was a big drop in solar energy deployment, which was largely due to the Model 3 ramp up. But as you can see in this chart, Tesla started picking up speed again toward the end of 2020. The growth is largely due to Tesla's new solar panel that was released in mid-2020. The panels are 10% more efficient and 25% cheaper. But they didn't stop there. Tesla is also promising to do price matching to be more competitive in the market. Tesla's solar roof also saw some updates recently with Elon announcing that the solar roof might be available in Canada and Europe in late 2021. When Tesla first unveiled its solar roof tiles in 2016, the product wasn't fully formed yet, but the company had several different designs. Tesla has had issues bringing the product to volume production and deployment as it tried to test the longevity and make the installation faster with less complexity. It's only over the last year that we have seen Tesla accelerate deployment but we have only seen a single version of the tiles being installed so far even though the product was originally offered in four different styles textured glass tile slate glass tile Tuscan glass tile and smooth glass tile but only the textured glass tiles were installed but not too long ago Tesla was spotted installing a different color and possibly a different texture at Tesla's test home site in Fremont Tesla built these homes at its factory in order to not only test new iterations of its solar tiles but also to train roofing teams both internal teams and from third-party roofing companies to install the tiles rapidly and efficiently once testing is complete and they're able to install them rapidly imagine every rooftop with solar tiles or solar panels then combine that with energy storage there could be enough energy from just rooftop solar alone to power most of our energy needs but most importantly they could serve as the replacement for peaker power plants that are today used to provide additional power during peak hours and I think, you know, I tweeted this a, a while ago that I thought the world's first trillionaire would be a person fighting climate change. It very well could be Elon, but if it's not him, it'll be somebody like him, but it'll be because of this. Delivering clean energy, allowing the world to be sustainable is an incredibly um, important thing that will be rewarded by markets and individuals. The transition to clean and sustainable energy is happening and it will one day turn the entire energy industry to its head. The future will look very different in just a couple of decades. I know that sounds like a long time, but big disruptive changes like these take time to be fully implemented on a larger scale. But if there's something that's certain about the future, it's that people like Elon Musk will lead the way. You're paid to stay with people that know what they're doing. And this is a guy who has consistently been one of the most important entrepreneurs in the world. And so why bet against him? It's the same thing with Bezos. Why bet against him? And there are a handful of other people. Anthony Noto, who we just talked to today, is yet another person. You get behind these people who have incredibly strong character, who know what they're doing, who aren't going to bend to short-term profits, and we're just going to drive the train for 10 or 20 years and make the world a better place. I have personally been a huge Elon Musk supporter since they released the Model S. And if it wasn't for him, this channel would never have been created and you wouldn't be watching this video right now. You know, the best way to summarize this, by the way, is a, a friend of ours who, you, who we mentioned earlier, Bill Gurley, has this great phrase. When the music's on, you got to dance. And so these guys are dancing. They are in rhythm. They're in flow. Let them do their thing. Get behind them. Don't sell a share. Just let them create value. What the future will look like in 5 or 10 years from now is very hard to imagine and difficult to predict. But one thing is certain, it's going to be great if Tesla or Elon Musk has anything to say about it. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up to help YouTube recommend this to others like you. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and make sure to turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss any videos like this one. A shout out to all of our Patreon producers and a special shout out to a power producer in Kang. Thanks for watching. My name is Harry and this is EV Source. Keep charging ahead and I'll catch you in the next one. Stay safe and take care.